very keen about data, data and eventually getting to learn about its applications and how it can be used modern day as we are right now. Within the financial space. The theme of today and the intent is for them to see with the information that's available how they can come up with better suggestions to make financial inclusion successful. Microsoft, AI is not about replacing human, human beings, it's about enhancing human ingenuity. The whole aim of Data Science Nigeria is to build an ecosystem for talent access, talent enrichment and talent deployment. So raise their capacity, get them to be enriched with global best practices through mentorship and learning and get them to be deployed. Deployed in research, deployed in leading organization or deployed as a tech startup. So it's an end-to-end -end mechanism that we're and with the liberalization of the telecoms industry, we realized that from a country that had a less than 1% tele-density, all of a sudden we were rising to 100% tele-density. And then the use of technology for financial services, or what we call mobile or digital financial services. So these are actual applications of the data we are today. We know that today uh, we are entering the fourth industrial revolution. And actually, it's been said already that data is the new oil. So if Nigeria is to repurpose itself and reposition itself in the Committee of Nations and move away from being oil and gas dependent, we need to start scaling up our people. We need to understand that actually data is everything. Today, many of the people who are operating are working with the silo data. So a lot is trying to get its data, SMB is trying to get its data, the telcos are trying to get the data. But AI is able to help us leverage this huge asset we have to address the financial inclusion issue. Okay, this is a live bank. Um, I confirm. And then this is where we have used the Microsoft technology. So it wants me to align my face, show my teeth. That's it. So this is the matching of work. This is the advanced social matching. Yeah, my personal message was from the purpose when I tried to reflect as well. I got inspired by some really leaders in Africa. Oh, it's, it's been awesome. I believe some of the speakers that participated here to, uh, yes, uh, today was also in yesterday's session, session where we talked about demystifying artificial intelligence for executives. So we had a, a number of executives there from corporates and it was, it was quite interesting. Uh, so like me, uh, Microsoft believes in what we're doing as a company that's committed to Nigeria's development and they're giving us all the support uh, to make this a reality. The country is very much you know, open to innovation and you see that in a lot of uh, improvements we've seen in terms of processes and services and um, some attempts even by government to digitize payments where for instance the central bank is concerned. The big thing for Africa is how we can use technology to leapfrog to solve the problem of poverty and how the financial system can be a critical player in that. I think we're at a critical moment where we have these large tech innovators that are you know, producing these tools and frameworks and platforms that can be leveraged. And we have these innovators that are growing up um, with access to online courses and competition tools like Kaggle. Um, and communities like Data Science Nigeria are really connecting the two of these worlds together and pointing them at very actionable problems and, and challenges that exist in the world that can be addressed by this partnership between innovators and these large tech platforms. One of the things Microsoft is doing is making available the various platforms. Um, with Microsoft being present in Nigeria and offering their cloud services, that's one of the ways that Microsoft is making, uh, is making technology accessible to Nigeria and also the hinterland. Microsoft is very relevant 
um, the, pro the technology providers and all of what we do in our lives and of course in Wema Bank serving these customers with leverage heavily on technology. For those who did not make it, we are kicking up what we call AI plus clubs in universities and also in communities which will allow the people who have made it to Lagos to go back home and still be teaching them so that we can sustain the movement. So out of their 75 persons we are selected and I was lucky to be one of them. We were lucky to be one of them. I think I have this penchant for problem solving okay. and that's part of my drive. Um, for attending this boot camp. The participants were able to see firsthand, have, have a hands on experience on how to use the Azure Machine Learning Studio and Azure Machine Learning Service to um, operationalize their models. It has been mind blowing, I've been mind blowing. I'm a cadet of the Nigerian Police Academy. I really want to appreciate the organizers first, before any other thing, for giving the police the chance to be involved in this super package. And we hope that this arrangement continues to work. And uh, to that extent, that we're able to impact value in the lives of the very young talents who are trying to build a career around communities. It's a pleasure to host the third edition of Artificial Intelligence Bootcamp where we bring together best of the best of Nigerian talent uh, to be mentored, tutored by some of the best global experts. I love the concept of Data Science Nigeria because it allows uh, students and people from the industry to come in and learn as much as they can around data, data science and some of the things that they can actually build uh, around that. And they go in depth, which I think is really, really powerful. The good thing about the boot camp is um, it's not just a technical boot camp. It actually brings all of these um, players together to create a synergy between you know, the tech ecosystem, the business ecosystem, and interestingly, the academia. Data Science Nigeria is doing a very, very unique um, and worthwhile job in finding out that talent, in developing that talent, and then bringing that talent to market. Our, our hope and desire for sponsoring this an initiative is we're able to find um, some of the right people that will be able to join um, Gucci Technologies and also contribute into the development of the ecosystem around data science uh, and analytics in Nigeria. The knowledge being impacted here is um, top notch, is one of the latest skills needed by today's youth to be very relevant and global. No youth participate in this event and remains the same. It's a 360 degrees turn around. With everything started here, I just believe the next four years, the next four years in Nigeria, there's going to be a great explosion in the Nigerian area of AI and um, artificial intelligence. My advice for everyone that is participating this year is one, with great power comes great responsibility. Take the knowledge you've, you've been given, take it back to your society, take it back to your world. This year, um, what really motivated me to come again was the fact that I saw those coming to speak and I'm like, okay, how did Dr. Bio get all these guys? Because they were actually they were super excited. This is my first time in Nigeria and uh, with this gathering like Data Science Nigeria, so I was very amazed, very surprised how people here, you guys are doing very, very good work. So, you know, enable people to use the, this uh, kind of technology. When I was in Morocco, I wasn't thinking about that. When I came here, I so, said, wow, people are really doing really good stuff. So I see in near future, a bright future for Africa in data science. And I think that we are on the good way to solve our local problem here, if we use it in a meaningful way. And I think, uh, I hope, this will, this will be the case in the near future. Thanks to DSN for bringing us this great opportunity, bringing all you from different schools. came out here today because I am on a mission to collaborate with like-minded people to accelerate the adoption of AI across the continent of Africa. Talents are everywhere, but opportunities are not everywhere. So, developing the pool of talents here, we, so what Data Science Nigeria is doing is trying to bring opportunities to people here and at the same time developing. 
talent. I think that this is just the beginning and it's been off to a very, very good start. There's still a lot more to come, and I'll be happy to be part of this personally and make sure that my company is part of it. We've had two streams of program. We have uh, the introductory beginners machine learning that is fully sponsored by Blue Chip, and then we have the deep learning stream fully sponsored by Microsoft. This is my second boot camp actually. I was here last year. Okay, so after the after the boot camp last year, I was like, where do I go from here? Really? So there was that huge gap that I really don't know what to do. So I took part in the hackathon, KPMG, and I qualified and I did well actually. And I was called on from KPMG to join um, their team. I will tell anybody who is um, aspiring to become a data scientist that you have to start now, really. I'm very happy to be here at the boot camp this year. This is my very first time here and I've learned a lot. I've met very good experts that are very, very knowledgeable in the field. And I'm very happy because Dr. Bayo has, you know, opened an avenue where young minds, young people can learn a lot. They can learn so many things and not just learning, but they can also actually put it to practice. Machine learning competition and class was really hard. I made 58 submissions. I was like the second highest. And when people laugh at me, when, when I'm submitting and I get bad results, I tell them that, okay, you just know one way to pass, and I know a lot of ways to fail. So um, that's what I tell them. I was at the 30th position at first, trying some other, doing some other kind of different things. Um, then I got to know about some method. So I use it, I apply it, then straight to the first position. Till this last minute, one of my friends took over and I became the second. Winning the Microsoft Deep Planning Competition is actually awesome, awesome. I wasn't expecting it, but I did it and I'm very, very happy. I came in with a lot of passion, with a lot of energy, and wanting to get that first position. And uh, by God's grace, tapping on the, uh, latching onto the talents available here that have been awesome, speaking and getting resources. I can say that I didn't really do this on my own, but I tapped onto the, uh, the talents available around, the resources available, and it helped me get the scores that I got to get um, come third in the competition. This is actually my first hackathon. 
to have participated in many other ones, but um, this is my best performance so far. During the hackathon, um, challenges I faced, particularly where didn't the data, because the data was kind of scattered. I came up one of the top three in this um, intercampus data science machine learning competition, probably sponsored by Blue Chips. So the experience so far has been very interesting and very taxful and challenging. Because this tax was given to us on um, on Thursday, and we had to work through it to make sure we do our best to make submissions on Saturday evening.